Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It's Bulbachu here for another uh, Steam Next Fest demo. Demo? I uh, hope you're doing well. I'm doing all right. I feel like I'm off. Something like that. Something. There we go. We're going to go with that. Okay, whatever. Anyways, today we're going to be checking out Breachway. Uh, it's a demo, and I think this is supposed to be like a card game. We'll see. Um, I'm not quite sure. We're going to check it out, but I think it's a run-based game. So we're going we're gonna to see what this is all about. This seems cool, though based on a little bit that I saw. Welcome to the Breachway Steam Next Fest demo. The game is still in active development, so you may encounter bugs, missing sounds, and visual effects. Localizations in early stages primarily focused on the UI cards and tutorials we're actively working on it, so we appreciate your understanding regarding any graphical issues or incompleted translations. Please feel free um, to share your feedback and report any bugs. We are a small team of four developers and the card design is still in flux. So we use placeholder art and duplicate images for some cards. We're going to replace these images. We're going to replace these images, unique art for each card as the game evolves and its design solidifies. Thank you for trying out our game. Any feedback on our forum or discord channel makes a big difference and helps us shape the game into the best it can be. All right. Let's have a really quick look here. Let's go ultra, ultra, uh, ultra. Let's turn that music up a little bit. Kind of digging this. This is pretty good. All right. Prologue enabled. Let's do this. Let's see what this is all about. A sudden jolt, jolt awakens you as you hear the distinct beepings of door openings. As reality creeps back in, you slowly recognize your surroundings, the cramped confines of your quarters on the Atlas. This is giving me um, Citizen Sleeper kind of vibes. <laughs> Just this music and this kind of like... Lena Starling. Hey, wake up. The captain needs to see us on the command deck. He seems pretty agitated and you look groggy as hell. So just let me do the talking. Head over to the command deck. There's an unusual flurry of activity as you enter the command deck. The captain studying the data feed in one of the consoles beckons the two of you over. Captain Quinn. Our infrared sensors detected a large explosion in Solari space, right where one of the re their research stations is located. Whatever they were up to, looks like it didn't go as planned. So this might be our big break then? A chance to turn the scavenging machine around and not go home empty-handed. Could well be. We're close to the station. Or we're closer to the station than any in the Solari fleets than any of the Solari fleets in the system. We can't risk approaching with the Atlas, however. It would be picking it would be picked up by fleet scanners and we'd be done for. A small ship like the Magpie, though, launched at our current speed, could get there undetected. It'll run on minimal reactor reactor capacity, using only maneuvering thrusters for flight path adjustments. With all due respect, sir, the fireworks will likely attract other scavengers by the time we get there. Which is why the lieutenant here is tasked with protecting the magpie in case things go south. I'll assemble a team while you make the necessary preparations. Report to the docking bay in 30 minutes. Prepare to head out. Ooh, cool. A little bit of story. Okay, so ship selection. This is the ship's status screen. You can view statistics such as number and types of hardpoints, starting equipment and crew. Each piece of equipment contains a few starting cards and has the capacity to add more cards as you play. Equipment requires an assigned crew member to function. You know, like, uh, excuse me. It's getting a little bit like um, FTL-ish vibes with that kind of stuff. Um, select ship magpie. Uh, a compact vessel equipped with a industrial cut laser cutter and a set of robotic arms perfectly suited for scavenging missions. Okay, I think that's my only, um, I think that's my only option. Tristan Singe. All right, if we follow the nav points I laid out, we should be at the wreckage in about two days. Then we rendezvous right back with the Atlas. We just stick to the asteroid belt as, as much as we can to avoid detection. Easy. I really don't see why the captain decided to put you in charge of my ship. Watch your tone. While we're on this mission, this is your new captain. Ivan Branco. Come on now, we got a mission to do. You can fight all you want once we're back at the hauler. Soon things settle down and everyone is at their assigned post. Diamond, start familiarizing yourself with the ship's console, com command console. Ooh. 
This is nice. This is a little bit like Mass Effect 1E, like kind of musical vibes, kind of. Okay, so we're trying to get here. Huh. Ship status launch bay. We don't have anything in the launch bay. So we have Ivan on the laser cutter that's got slice. We got nothing. The AI doing nothing on the launch bay. We got Tristan over here on the shield, which blocks. And then Lena over here we have on engineering. So target locking. Okay. And we got some external attachments. So a lot of stuff going on here. So. Uh huh. Okay. Your console flashes a warning indicating combat near your near, near flight path. Not long after. <sighs> Excuse me. The infrared sensors flare as the ship explodes. Is that a flying group? What the fuck? It's too early for this shit. It's only March. Um, indicating the flight, the combat near your flight path. Not long after, infrared sensors flare as a ship explodes. The remaining ships change course, heading in your direction. There's no way this our their sensor spotted us. We'll be running cold for almost a day now. Just our luck then. Their flight path will take them right within our radar, our radar range. Prepare combat protocols. There you are, old bastard. Okay, so what are we looking at here? Introduction, this is your hand of cards. Displaying the actions you can take each turn. Each card requires a resource to play, shown as a number in the lower part of the card. So, two, three, three. Okay, easy enough. This is your resource panel. The colored number next to the icon represents your current energy. The white number shows your energy income at the start of the next turn. Resources carry over between turns. Enemy cards. Enemy cards are based on their equipment. Each piece of equipment has a card slot indicating the next action. Cards gain one pip each turn. When all the pips are filled, the card border turns by assuming that they'll be played next turn. Okay. You you can you play cards by dragging and dropping them over the crosshair region. This is the crosshair region. Attack the sh enemy by playing two slice cards to advance. Two slice. Laser, four damage, three. Uh huh. Okay. And so this is this. I think these numbers just went down. And I think that's its full health right here. Vulture. All right, let's see. Yeah, those went down, and then that went down. Enter and press the enter button to advance enemy's turn. Defense. Shields are your primary defense, with each shield point uh, blocking one damage. Shields have at the start of each turn, so deploy shield cards just before an enemy attacks for maximum effectiveness. Defense, the enemy ship is about to attack. <laughs> Play a block card to prevent hull damage from the enemy's upcoming attack. About to hit us with four. And we just put on a shield of four. Cooldown, after playing a card, it moves to your cooldown pile. Cooldown duration is indicated by the number next to the clock icon so I'm not seeing that down here hmm. uh, once off cooldown and returns to your drop pile press the tab key or click the card status UI for overview of cards and drop pile your hands or cooldown oh okay oh I see okay so those wow okay we don't have a lot going on here resume so, target lock. What are we doing here? I only have two right now. And they're going to hit me this next turn. So, let's end this turn. We got our shields. That's cool. The shield was like here. <laughs> Persistent effects. Persistence effects on your ships appear above your card hand. Some status lasts for a set number of turns, while others have an upkeep condition. You have to meet each turn to maintain the effect. see anything so we're gonna get hit next turn but we don't our blocks on cooldown so we got this cooldown one back and this one's in our draw pile I think cooldown pile cards coming off cooldown next turn and draw pile huh I feel like this needs to be a little more clear then but okay we should 
target lock. Deal plus one damage upkeep play at least one attack per turn. Okay, so that's the upkeep for that. So let's target lock it and then do five damage down. There you go. All right, we're gonna take a hit. Oh, they added shield. Next turn, they're gonna laser pulse the shield. Uh, shield is four. We're not gonna. Be, we're gonna go through it, but we're not gonna do enough to kill it. So, and they're they're gonna do four shield damage up, to yeah. us. So we're gonna shield up and we're gonna slice, to, just to upkeep our target lock. Okay, let's keep going. Good. So far, so good. All right, let's slice. Yeah, this should finish it. Yes. I'm a good captain. Rewards, 20, 25 credits, I'm assuming. All right. The area is starting to get pretty lively. We should expect more combat on our approach to the station. Looks like we're not the only one stupid enough to raid a Solari facility. Too late to hide our presence now. Asking for permission to restore the reactor's ordinance protocol. That should allow us to squeeze some more power out of it. It will also improve our laser's photon output. Permission granted. Override the cutter's safety protocols. We'll need more for, uh, firepower. Aye, Captain. That should enable us to enable or to emit concentrated laser pulses. Won't be military grade laser, but it'll be close. Ordnance. You now have access to the ordnance resource. Ordnance is the main resource for attacks. Open your ship status screen now to inspect your resource area. You have one on. Uh, you have one unallocated. Unallocated uh, re reactor power. How do I see that? Where do I see? Uh, left click on the ordnance resource to add the extra reactor power to it. How did I know I had an extra one? You can reach view, uh, reactor power between your two resources at any time. Between your resources at any time. Right click on this energy twice to remove two powers from it and left click to add to ordnance. Your power distribution should be indicated as such. Yep. To close the ship status screen, press the button again. Can we go back? Visited, disliked. Huh. All right. We got a ship closing in on an attack vector. Looks like pi uh, pirates. Let's go. Look at this little guy. Resource distribution. You can redistribute reactor power anytime in combat. Right click on a resource type to remove one power unit. Left click to add. This lets you shift your resources and income, income to suit your needs. Warning, adding one power to a resource generates one heat. Heat changes, uh, heat changes take place after playing the next card. Okay. Ships have heat resistance and dissipation value. Resistance is the amount of heat a ship can safely sustain before overheating. Dissipation is the amount of heat removed at the end of each turn. Every point of overheat deals one whole damage start of your turn. Okay, this is kind of different. So... Deal six damage and ignite three. Beam sweep. So what is, so if I have more here, I do more damage is what I, I think, right? All right. Can I just like look at their, sh I was, oh yeah, there we go. Can you like, I wonder if you could like focus fire on something. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> All right, let's target lock. I bet you there's going to be something where you can, um... You'll be able to, like, select things to attack. Oh, I see. Cause, so that costs some shield and some... Okay, so they're going to laser pulse me right now. <laughs> Enemy charging up heavy blast. We need to take out that laser. Precision attacks, there we go. Cards with the, that little icon, like the laser pulse or precision attacks that can uh, uh, target specific enemy equipment. Drag and drop these cards over an enemy equipment or card in the UI or place a piece of equipment on the ship model to attack it. 
Uh, each enemy piece of equipment has durability. Yep, right here. When a durability hits zero, the equipment breaks, preventing any attacks. Enemy equipment is automatically repaired in three turns. Automatically repaired in three turns. Ooh, wow. The durability damage from precision card is indicated by the that icon. You can right click to discard unwanted cards, freeing up slots for next or for new draw next turn. Discard cards go to cooldown just as being played. Consider discarding cards that are not useful in the next few turns. So let's discard that one. Oh, sick! Look at that. All right, so we gotta get rid of that heavy blast. And then we can't afford this one. Although... Um, no. Actually, yeah. Oh no, we can't. It doesn't matter. Okay. Let's end turn. It's a good thing they can't attack every turn. <clears throat> Discarding cards. You can right click to discard on one cards. Oh, I already did that. Uh, let's do... No, Beam Sweep is not precision. I want precision right now. Gotta get rid of that Heavy Blast. Okay, so that... Oh, I see. Okay, it's gonna repair in three turns now. Okay, cool. And then we can still afford this one. Nice. Where's the... Oh, is that, that's the hull right there. Okay, cool. Perfect. All right. Another beam sweep should do it. Enemy shields down. Boom. Beautiful. This is cool. I don't know. This is fun. How about reward? Check on the flashing subsystem to add to your cargo bay. Infrared emitter, a laser. Any attack from this weapon that deals whole damage adds plus one heat. Okay. Cool. Captain, we should hook up the mass refiner module to the reactor. It's crucial for improving our reactor's power output and strengthening the magpie shield system. It was really meant to deflect dust and minor asteroids, not high-powered lasers. I can modify it to suspend high-density particles in its magnetic field, diffusing laser beams and absorbing kinetic force. This improves defense but requires mass. Permission granted. We also have scav uh, salvage a functional subsystem from that ship. I'm sure we could put it to good use. M uh, might help us get it out of this place in one piece. I'll be claiming that as reparations for my ship when we're back on the Atlas. The magpie will need a new coat of paint once it's all over. Reactor upgrades. You can upgrade your reactor with credits you gain on your journey. To upgrade your reactor, open the ship status screen. Click on the upgrade button below the reactor. Each upgrade gives you one extra reactor power. You now have access to mass resource used for upgrades and repairs. Add your upgraded power unit to mass by left clicking its resource area oh boy subsystems enhance compatible equipment and their cards with various effects drag and drop the subsystem from the cargo bay to your modified cutter for application the subsystem from the cargo bay to uh, your modified cutter okay only one subsystem of the same type can be added to an equipment okay Now, how do I read? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, this was how much I had. This is how much it cost. And then I can add... Okay. All right. Let's go to this station wreckage. The remains of the station are in view. Seems things seem quiet, but the tension of the crew is palpable. Judging by the infrared emissions here, there should be some functional equipment that we can salvage in that section over there. Combat training. Wait. Look at that flux look at the fluctuations in the re readings. I'll bet you a week rations rations that there's a ship line in wait to spring an ambush. Prep the lasers and let's go around to get the jump on them instead. 
circle around the wreckage and attack advantage for stack deals plus three damage. Okay, why wouldn't I choose that? Crew capability or crew abilities. Oh man. Crew members have abilities you can activate at will during combat. To inspect their abilities, hover over them. Abilities do not use regular resources and they, they cost command points and have a cooldown. Your command point capacity is determined by the amount of crew on board. Plus three max command points per, per, per crew member. Okay. So they're going to laser pulse us and firefly deal four damage in one turn and then deplete remove from battle once played okay interesting so they're about to do eight damage to us this sucks N uh next attack played this turn deals 50 damage or 50 plus percent next shield played this turn gets 50 plus gain two of each resource let's use this Okay, so that means, yeah, this, we should be able to just play that, and then that should be enough to end this turn. Oh, incoming enemy missile. You can track missiles in the lower left part of the screen. Above your hull points, missiles have a delay in one or more turns before they hit. You can defend against missiles by playing shield cards or shooting them down with special missile defense cards. Ah, that's what that means. So it deals four damage in one turn. So it's gonna do that damage now. Damn. We didn't get the ambush either, that sucks. Alright. So if I don't do an attack this turn, so you have to do that and do an attack on the same turn. Wow. Okay, that's rough. All right, so block. We're still on three cooldown for those. Damn. No, no, we're not. I just have no... Oh, shit. Okay, I see. Oh, well. Let's go ahead and just... Boom. Blow that up. And then next turn... They're gonna hit us pretty hard. Okay. We're going to do a beam sweep. Okay. And then we're gonna block. And then this. Weird. Okay. Come over rewards. Yep. Okay. Oh, shit. We got new cards. Oh, you got to choose one. So for their cutter, we can get the catalyst pulse deal four damage. All pulse cards deal. Play this turn deal plus one damage. Okay. We only have one. Shield amplifier. Shield gain 10 shield points. And engineering gain, uh, oh, gain four. Uh, what's it called? Okay, cool. I think we're gonna get the hmm, let's get the shield. That ammo dump seems pretty good too, though. Basic missile rack, sure. 
Morale determines the rate at which your crew command points recharge on entering a note. Some choices in a, some choices and events can affect crew morale temporarily or permanently. Area clear, no further hostiles in engagement range. Deploying a recon drone for a visual sweep of the wreckage. Look behind that plating. That black box is the station's main data, storage, and backup unit. It's bound to have a lot of valuable research data we can sell. Who knows what they were cooking up there? Are you out of your mind? If a Solari catches us catches wind of us stealing that, we're as good as dead. We need a new air recycling and ventilation system back at the station, don't we? This is why we went on the scavenging run in the first place. Uh, this will bring in enough credits for all that and more. Enough squabbling. We've got a limited window before more hostiles drive. Our orders were to retrieve all valuable sus uh, salvage. Let's get to work. All right, let's go. The crew begins working to retrieve the black box and fill the magpie's cargo bay with any valuable salvage they can find. After the work is done, you set course for a rendezvous point with Alice. Equipment. Open your ship's status UI to inspect the salvage equipment and install it. Drag the equipment from the cargo bay and drop it in the appropriate empty hard point. This will add one extra card slot and the cards from that equipment to your deck while in combat. Okay. And so then we get solar flares now. We got we got uh, missiles. Okay. So we get two every turn. Our hull's 30 out of 50 and we cannot upgrade. Okay. I was trying to do this earlier and it wouldn't let me. That's strange. Okay. Let's do that. We need a little bit of mass coming in at least. Rendezvous points. Incoming type beam transmission from the Atlas. Captain Quinn. Magpie, this is Atlas. We got a situation. The Solaria flagged us for interrogation. They most, they most likely got all their sensors pointed at us until we meet up with their patrol ships. Any attempt to pick you up would incriminate us both. We'll be fine, but I'm afraid you'll have to return to the station on your own. Keep your burn minimum and maintain a low profile until you're clear. Roger that, Captain. Stay safe. I've heard about Solari interrogation methods. I wouldn't want to be on that atlas right now. There's an alternate route we can take that'll keep us away from any major flight uh, corridors and known fl Solari fleet positions. Should work. We have enough Delta V and remaining fuel to get us to the station. Set alternate route. That'll take us straight through deadweight controlled territory, though. A solid, solitary scavenger ship is sure to attract some attention from those pirate scum. We best be on our toes. Path types are two path types in breachway. Main paths shown as blue line allow only forward movement. Secondary paths map by thin yellow lines permit both forward and backward movement. Moving to a node on a secondary path consumes one fuel. How we have fuel? Is that what this is? I think that's what that is. Okay. Captain, we intercepted a distress call. A civilian transport is under attack by a deadweight raider. They won't last long without our intervention. If we reroute power to the thrusters for Max Burn, we can inter intercept in time, pulling the raider's focus. That's too risky. It would leave us exposed during the approach. The deadweight could attack us freely, and we'd be defenseless until combat systems are online. It's calculated risk. Diverting their fire from the transport to us is the only way to save that ship. Our hull should hold against a barrage. You make the call, Captain. Distract the pirates and save the civilian transport. Wait until the weapons are fully charged before engaging. Or stay out of this. Our orders are to return to base. No, let's go. Let's go. Acknowledge, Captain. It's the right call. Prepare for maneuver now. You divert all power to the engines and fire up the thrusters to their thrusters to their maximum capacity. Before long, the dead weight ship stops firing on the civilian transport and turns its attention to you. Oh boy. Flak weapons. The enemy ship has a flak cannon. Flak inflicts random damage within a range. Attacks have a shredding value. Hold damage from a flak attack that is equal or higher than attack shredding value triggers a shred status effect on the target. Each shred stack raises flak minimum damage by one. Shred decreases by one if not reapplied in turn. Jesus. Okay. Uh, let's see. Two and three. All right, so let's target lock. Hold on. Can we do anything? Okay, let's do this. Do that. Then do a whole bunch of. Let's see. Should probably get rid of that flak. Boom. 
And then let's fire this the missile out. Seven damage, okay. Let's um Ooh. Oh, nice. Good, good, good. Uh, flag. Incoming minimum flag damage increased by one. Okay, that sucks. What are we looking at here? Should gain a shield. Could also... So why can't I use this? Requires shielded. Oh, I need to be shielded and then ample. I see. That makes sense. So next turn we're gonna get this laser burst. Let's try to stop it. You are now shielded. So where do I see shields? This is shield, right? Yes. Okay, so six. So now I should be able to do this if I had enough shield points. But I don't. Try to get rid of that flak barrage. There we go. Don't take a hit. No big deal. <clears throat> Okay. Deal seven damage. Gain two of each resource. No, we're gonna hold off. All right, we're gonna beam sweep. And we can't afford that right now, so we're gonna end turn. Okay, they're gonna do another laser burst here in a second. We could do another beam sweep. Oh. They're gonna do four damage. Let's shield up. And then beam sweep. And then they should die for the overheat. Yeah. Good shit. Okay. PDC array, PDC burst. Oh. Oh shit. Blinding pulse. Laser deal four damage. Next turn enemy attack deals negative two. Firecracker deal two damage three times. Oh. Oops, I accidentally clicked it. Well, okay, well. <laughs> That's alright. Auxiliary equipment, the point defense cannon you salvage from the enemy goes to the ox mount. Providing effective defense against enemy missiles. Auxiliary equipment operates without a crew member, but doesn't add an extra card slot in combat. Open your ship status to equip it. PDC burst uh, point defense. If missile incoming, if missile incoming, destroy one missile, else deal two damage. No VFX. Okay, and then remove from battle. Okay. So now we could go back, right? But we want to go forward. So let's go forward. Oh. You've come across an abandoned repair station. Oh, do we not have like any sort of like interaction with the people we saved? Really? That's... I thought that maybe we something would have happened from that. Um, you come across an abandoned repair station. A large part of it has been stripped clean by salvagers, but upon closer inspection, one of the maintenance bays still seems to be operational. Doc can attempt to do some repairs. It may not look like it, but some of the equipment here left here is actually in good working condition. Your engineer gets to work with the assistance of the rest of the crew. A few hours later, the hull looks better than ever. 12 hull points repaired. Nice. Good. We're at 31 now. Damn, we were that low. Shit. I need to pay attention. Sir, a gunship is getting ready to fire. They must have some stealth tech that kept them hidden from the bank by sensors until they made their way directly into an engagement range. We got an incoming hail. Patch it through. Dead weight, Captain. There you are, little magpie. We've been looking forward to having a word with you. This doesn't need to get messy. Hand over the data core you got in your hold and you'll fly away unscathed with the rest of your salvage. Power down and prepare for boarding. Captain, if we power down our reactors, as good as, we're as good as dead. We're dead either way. We can't take the light cruiser on in this ship. Then we go down swinging. I'm not taking orders from a pirate. Agreed. Engage protocols. We make our stand. It saddens me to hear you choose violence, Captain. The data core is designed to withstand thermonuclear blasts. Don't, blast. don't expect us to hold back. Oh, boy.
careful that spread shot could shoot down our missiles. And destroy the closest enemy missile, okay? The closest enemy missile, interesting. Precision, they're gonna do a missile take aim deal plus one damage, okay. So they're gonna do this, so if we... If we fire both of these... We're gonna get two of each resource, there we go. If we fire both... And then do one block. They're gonna destroy one of the missiles. Our shield's gonna protect us though, there we go. Nice. What's this now? Light barrage. Deal. Okay, so they're shredding again. PDC burst. If incoming missile, else deal two damage. Okay. So, no missiles are coming. They're going to do a laser pulse, which will do four damage, and they're going to shoot this. So, we're going to have to hold on to this for when they fire that, I think. We're going to shoot this. And we're going to shield up again. Nice. Oh, man. Okay. Nice. Hit him. Man, they have so much health. Alright, we got us. We got one of these coming. So if we do PDC bursts. Shoot, shoot down their missile. They're going to take aim and light barrage us. So if we do this and then we do this, we're not going to have really much... Um, shields for this attack that's okay spread shot destroy closest enemy missile and deal five damage precision okay so they're gonna do like Ew. Like 11 damage at least. No, plus this. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. So. Hmm. We're actually in a poopy pickle right now, so we're gonna do this. We can't afford any more shield amplifiers. Oh shit, I should have done this. This would have helped. That's fine. We're gonna do a laser pulse. We're gonna hit. What should we. A spread shot. Well, let's get rid of this for now. As much as... Yeah, it's repaired. Good. So they won't be able to do that, at least. Oh. Now we got a missile coming. We got PDC burst, so we can do that. Enemy missile intercepted. And they're not gonna... They're gonna do a light barrage... So if we shield up again and we do this, we can take out... Wait, what is blind? Ooh. Let's take this out. All right. Okay. What are we doing? looking at now? We are looking at another light barrage and a missile. So we don't have a PDC thing. Okay. Let's use... We could do this to get two resources of everything, or we can do like 10 damage. Ooh. Um, I feel like we should get more resources of everything. Okay. Ooh. We could actually use this. Get us a shitload of shield. And then do a beam sweep. Okay, and then they'll be at max heat. So I think they only take damage if they're above max heat. Yeah, okay. 
So we got to get them like up there. Could do precision damage. Their laser pulses back online. If we hit their light barrage, because their light barrage is the flak or the shredding. Yeah, the flak. We hit that. And then we do some more blocking. We'll be able to take some of them hits. We need a block. Because we got a lot of damage coming our way. And we could do a beam sweep or a precision. Yeah, let's do precision. Get rid of that spread shot. There we go. Incoming missile. That's alright. They're going to do a beam sweep on us. We can't afford much. We need to go like this again. Uh, let's go ahead and just block this damage. This is cool. I like card games like this. Like, this is interesting and fun and weird. It reminds me of, um, oh, what's that game? There's a game by the people that made, uh, by Clay, the people that made, like, the, um, uh, my brain's farting right now, but the, the developer's called Clay, and they make a bunch of games, like, um, are they the ones that did, uh, do, 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 man. Oh man, they made like a lot of good games and I'm trying to, I'm like blanking. And you can't just like look up a developer really. Um, oxygen? Is the oxygen not included? Is that? Yeah, Clay Entertainment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they did like oxygen not included. Um, what's this? Apparently they're part of the Rift of the Necromancer people. Uh, don't starve. That's the one that I remember. Okay, so the game's called Griftlands, and it's very much like. Um... Where's my desktop capture? There we go. So this Griftlands. So it's also very much like story-based and card game, and it's very very cool. Um, and this is reminding me of that. So that's good. That's a cool game. Um. All right, what are we looking at here? What are they doing? They're gonna be doing a laser cooldown, cooldown, the charge laser, and prepare it to fire again. Okay. Your next fax damage deals max damage. Ooh, okay. They're gonna shoot that, okay. So if we precision, oh, it's only, it's only three damage though. Right, because we have blind on us. So that's gonna, for three turns, what the fuck? Can I remove that somehow? All right, let's just do an, an overall attack. And block. Ridiculous. Shield amp, we're gonna need a shield amp, absolutely, because we're about to get hit hard. Um, let's do it again on that spread shot. We want to eventually try to turn that off. Man. Hey, but we, we survived it, though. All right. Oh, good. Okay, so we're back to doing damage. Um, three and three. So we can't do both of these. a lot of mass right now so we're gonna let's go ahead and put a shield up because they're gonna laser pulse and light barrage us and then let's hit that again take the hits damn it's getting dire they're only at 17 though all right we're we're gonna get hit by the light barrage and we're gonna get hit by this and they're doing another blind damn it we don't want that. I could take the hit. And then that's... I won't be able to turn off the blind, so we're actually better off. 
opening on some shields and then hitting the lead barrage again. Yeah, we're at 15, they're at 13. We have a chance here. Oh. Oh. Someone's coming in to help us. Hell yeah. <laughs> um. Well, if that's the case. Boom. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Boom. Let's see what happens. Oh. I guess they haven't animated that part yet. All right, add a card. All right, careful now when you click. Prep volley. Add one counter to the start of your turn. When this reaches three, fire three Firefly missiles. Harness strike. Gain one shield point every time you play a laser or ion attack. Ooh, PDC burst, those are good too. Kind of like both of these. Get prep volley. Yeah. What happened? Free roamer pilot. Looks like we arrived just in time, Captain. The director dispatched us for your safe return after hearing about Atlas about the Atlas incident. We'll continue to pursue uh we'll continue the pursuit of that ship. Your path to the station is secure. Ah sec. <laughs> cool. Tristan's uh home station up ahead, Captain Praying docking procedures. Once docked, the station spin gravity kicks in. You and your crew dis disembark and head to your station quarters to rest while the dock workers start unloading the cargo bay. A few hours later, you are called to meet the station director in her office. Station director. I've had our researchers look at the data you brought back in that black box. While heavily encrypted, Rin managed to extract some data on the research they were conducting at the station. Rin Sidel. It has to do with the anomaly that swept through our system a while ago, knocking out large parts of our electronics. The equipment aboard the research station was able to extract some sort of information from it, leading them to believe it was a message or a signal of unknown origins. Their data shows multiple star systems within the Breachway network were similarly affected, which led them to trace the trajectories of the set coordinates where they are where they converge. Whatever it may be, this information is too dangerous to keep here. The Solaria will come looking for it sooner or later. They're already moving their fleets to close the system's breachway access points. They don't want it, this to get out. Take the black box with you and leave. Rin will accompany you to try and further decrypt the data. Judging from the Solaria's response, the signal might lead to something important that could shift the balance of power. Me and Ivan are joining you as well. We want to see this to the end. We are preparing a Corvette class gunship Ooh, in the hangar for you. Posting as a mercenary will allow you to move freely within the Breachway network without raising suspicion. Once you are ready to leave, head to a random system in the Breachway network and from there start making your way towards the signal. This should make it more difficult for the Solar to connect you to this whole thing. Godspeed, Captain. Head to the hangar. Okay, so an herbalist. Lancer. Marauder. Arb okay, cool. So there's like... Oh, sick. Lancer. Look at this thing. Comes with a bunch of things, too. Okay. Not available in demo. Okay, Lancer not available. Reach the sector boss with the Arbalest to unlock. Oh, okay, so just use the Arbalest. Okay, interesting. What is this? Solari, Starkins, Free Rumors. Does that change? Oh, it does. I wonder what that means. Um, maybe suspicion level or friendly level? I don't know. This is cool. I'm enjoying this. This is pretty neat. We're going to go a little longer. We'll see where this kind of goes. But yeah. I don't know. It's fun so far. I hope you're having a good time watching it. Like the little bit of like the cinematicness of it is very nice, I think. So we're going to keep Ivan, Rin, and Lena. And then Tristan was like, fuck this. I'm out. I'm going back with my ship. That's fine. Fuck that guy. He's a bitch anyways. Interesting. 
Hmm, excuse me. Okay. Uh, a well-rounded ship that strikes a balance between offense and defense boosts. It boasts a pulse laser that performs the best in multi-attack burst destroy enemy equipment with ease. So I guess this is probably, yeah, this is the start of the game, and this is the roguelike nature of it. Most magma nodes are under control of one of the game's factions. Events in these nodes are influenced by standing with the controlling factions. Some events can present choices that can modify your relation with one or more factions. Faction relations are grouped as hard as such. One pip, hated, two to three, disliked, four to five, neutral, and six, allied. So hated can lead to negative event outcomes and possible ambushes. Lower chance of ambushes or negative effects. Standard event outcomes can lead to fire support from allied ships and better rewards. Captain, our senses detect a group of Starkin gunships in our flight path. Looks like they've taken are trying to block any ships from entering the system through this breachway. Okay, we're kind of friendly with them. Judging by the large number of civilian ships where they head, the blockade is meant to keep people in. It looks like the gunships are in disarray. They haven't reached, reacted to our approach. If we make a run at full burn, we can punch through with a little fighting. So we're neutral with them. Okay, cool. It says it up there, too. Oh, it says it on the thing, too. Busy with trying to prevent civilians from fleeing the system. Only one gunship has noticed our approach. It's headed our way and intercept course. Prepare for battle. Okay, so we're just going to straight up attack these guys. Fair enough. This seems maybe like a bad idea. All right, so they're going to... They're not going to do anything this turn. So deal four damage. All postcards play this turn. Deal plus one damage, okay? Uh, and then... So that's three, three. So we don't have enough. What do we got here? So attack steal 50%, four shields, gain two resources. Okay. I can't afford him, but I can afford her. So if I do this, yeah, that'll let us do both of these. So both of these are precision. Okay. Okay, wait, this is a laser pulse. So this actually affects that. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and attack this. And then go ahead and give it another good attack. There we go. And then we're not going to get hit, so we're good. Now we're going to get hit. Gain four, sustain one heat, lose up to four ordinances on turn end. Oh, okay. Well, we don't really have... Gain shield for every two you spend. Okay, and we're not spending any, so... I guess we'll just go barrier. They're going to hit us with that, so... We actually only really need this. Okay. Boom. I like this. This is cool. Go ahead and destroy this. Now they won't be able to do that anymore. We can end it. That's fine. Uh, we're actually going to hold off. Let's, uh... Let's get rid of that and see what we get now there we go all right so what happens if i hit this again let's see what happens if we hit one of this again boom okay nothing it doesn't like to make it last longer or whatever okay all right they're back Oh, we can't do five damage to them. Damn. Oh, actually, no, we don't, because we don't have any, uh... Okay. So they are going to do nothing, so we might as well just hit them again. And then this next turn, we should be able to kill them. Well, actually, probably not, now that I'm looking at it. All right, let's go ahead and use barrier. Let's just do this. Let's get rid of that, and end turn. This will let us survive any attacks. And it should open. There we go. There we go. Boom. Add a card. Relentless. 25% chance to return an attack card from your discard pile to your hand every time you play an attack. Ramper. Gain 10 shields. If you are unshielded, gain one duration. Disable production. Oh. Ugh. Mass surge. Um, resource bay gain shield stain one heat lose up to four okay so this is like the this but for shields 
Um, I mean, so this is an upgrade. Oh, fuck it. We need more attacks right now. Let's go. Alright, next blockade. They're not going to be happy with us, so... The last fight drew the attention of everyone in the area. Multiple ships are approaching on, last in on the intercept course, but only one of them is close enough to get into combat range. Alright. Fuck it, let's go. Let's keep going. So, they're gonna do... Six... No, they're not doing anything this time. Okay. Relentless. Oh, we need way more. Okay. So, we can't use this right now. Um... Let's get rid of this then for now. Let's get rid of this. And then let's do... Let's hit that beam, beam sweep. Let's go. Alright. Now they're going to hit us with... Shield up, Captain. Six damage so we can do this. And then get rid of the barrier for next turn. I want to save that catalyst pulse. Okay. Infrared pulse. Deal three damage if enemies overheat. Deal six damage. Oh, shit. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Not today, though. <laughs> Boom. And then that's all I can do. Unfortunately. Oh, mm, let's do this. Then we can hit it again. Might as well. Okay, they're shielded now. They can't attack. So we're going to end this turn. There we go. All right, let's do four damage. Boom. Turn off their shields, period. Okay. And now we should just be able to straight up kill them. Yep. Sick. <laughs> Paired pulse, deal three damage two times. Ooh. Energy surge gain four. Okay, let's get this paired pulse. And then we can start working on some of the other stuff. This is fun. What are we looking at here? Oh, we're so close to a level up. Okay, that's fine. All right. Let's get to the gateway. After we breach the blockade, multiple ships try to make a run and exit the system. As we mix in with a group of civilian vessels, the Stark and gunships break off at pursuit and focus on keeping the fleeing ships in. Okay, cool. Incoming message request, Captain. It's possible to isolate the source of so many ships grouped together. Unknown contact. Greetings, Captain. Impressive skills you have shown there. I could use the service of a bold freelancer such as yourself. I'm a data broker by trade, willing to tr willing to offer a generous reward in exchange for some valuable intel. I need to gather data on the most powerful gunships in the center. All you need to do is send your combat logs to the specified c coordinates after fighting two elite ships, and I'll transfer 150 credits. Oh, and Captain, pick a weapon from my reserve while you're at it. You'll need all the firepower you can get. Consider an investment in your future. Ooh! Choose a weapon. Okay, <laughs> let's take that. Open the status menu and assign a crew member to operate the newly added missiles. A few moments later, a transport container... Okay, well, oh, I can't do that yet. A few moments later, a transport container emerges from somewhere in the group of ships. Head to your location. You pry it open in the cargo bay after a security scan and pick up its contents. Have your crew install it and proceed. All right, so... We don't have anybody to use it, though, right? I guess I can move them around. Okay, so we don't... Oh. Oh no, I see, okay. I wonder if you need somebody to actually... I don't remember from last time. Okay. So we gotta find... Elites. Should we just go to the Solari and just like risk it for the biscuit? Oh, I see, okay, okay. Oh, these are allies though. Okay. Do we want to attack allied people? Oh no, yeah, the free roamers. And we gotta attack two of them. Alright. Let's start moving up. Traversing solar conflict zones is strictly prohibited. Com a patrol ship loose intercept. Prepare for combat. Okay, one of these dinky things. I hope there's a, like a bigger selection and it's not just like the same five ships or whatever, right? Um, heavy barrage. Okay, so they're doing a lot of shred and damage here. Alright. Okay, we've got a little bit of time before this happens. 
So let's go ahead and start doing damage to that. They're gonna shield up. Fair enough. Alright. And go ahead and hit this. Enemy shields down. And oh I can't afford another one. Shit. Okay. Oh, these guys okay, these guys have really good shields. I actually need to focus that shield down. Okay. Check card, okay. Let's do this. We're gonna get hit hard. Ooh, five to twelve, damn. Five? Oh. Well, thank goodness. Oh, that costs four. Uh, we could get two resources, do that. Hit that, just so it's out. And then we can focus on the uh, ship pulse, shield pulse. Right, let's get rid of all these. We're gonna need all the attacks. Enemy down. Yeah, there's no point in even attacking unless we can do more damage than the shield is. Um, so they got four oh, pulse cards. Okay, yeah, we're better off waiting. There we go. Do four damage. Enemy shield down. There we go. Now we should be all right. We got this. Just need to do six damage, of which we should be able to do pretty quickly here. Boom. And then next turn. Cool. So that was a little different. Like they, they had very quickly respawning shields, so you have to like kind of think about that. Streamline. For this turn, each laser attack played reduced to the cost of all their laser attack. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Starflare. Okay, another. We're not even getting any missiles right now. And then Rampart, gain 10 shields or mass search. Let's get the shields. Get some more shield stuff. Continue. Right, I guess we start moving this way so we can start moving towards this elite. Unregistered ship present in contested slurry space portion and tack factor. All right. Oh, shit. I could have upgraded. Oh, well. There we go. Something a little different. Oh, look at this little weirdo. Huh. Ramper. Oh, okay. They got a lot of uh, shield stuff going on. Okay. They can't attack us yet, and they don't. They won't be able to do shields yet. Um. Let's get rid of that and. Let's wait a turn, see what happens. Okay, there we go. That's what I was hoping for. Hit that. Hit that. Perfect. Alright. Now we can do some damage to their shield, but they're gonna they're gonna do that. I'm not gonna be able to stop them from doing it. Yep, ten points of shield, rough. Alright, so. It's gonna repair in one turn. So what if we no, there's no no point in even shooting at all, because they're gonna lose half, right? They use half the shields. Oh. Wait, I thought you lose half shields at the end of a turn. Oops. Okay. Well that's not good. Gain one shield for every you spend. All right. Let's hit that. That should give us a shield, right? How come that didn't give us a shield? Or maybe it, it calculates it at the end or something? Hmm. 
I wonder if that's not working properly. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, hit their ramp. Let's get rid of that thing. Boom, boom. Good. No more shields for them. Uh, well, if that's the case, then I should shield up right now, right? Seven. And if I end turn... It did go down. Hmm. All right. I guess we'll... Let's just use this. Oh, actually, we do have this. Gain four. Let's go one more turn, see what we get. Damn. We don't need this right now. Let's, uh... Okay. Deal four damage, all parts cards. Okay. <laughs> Actually, what am I doing? I should've just... I could've killed them the whole time. <laughs> Alright, let's add that card. Echo Pulse. Deal four damage. Return a laser card from discard pile. Cannot return itself. Light Torpedo. Ooh. Barricade. Gain two shield points. Plus two for every production total six. Let's get a. Uh, let's get some. Let's get some more torpedoes. We're not really doing much with like missiles right now. All right, I gotta remember this time. Man, this game is like, it, it doesn't matter as much because it is kind of like this. Like it's not like action based, but it, I'm definitely feeling like a drop in frame rates, like surprisingly. Right, let's go ahead and boost one of these up. Okay, and then plus one capacity. Um, let's get more ordnance. Yeah, I don't understand. Hmm, those are the same symbols. But these come from this, and that is not the same symbol as... I don't know. Weird. Okay. Alright, let's start moving up. Starkin. Captain, permission to report. Our scanners are picking up signs of combat up ahead. A Starkin unarmed ship is being attacked by Solari, Solari gunships. The civilian ship's hull integrity is critical. We are intervening in time. Our only option is to fire on the attacking ship and draw its attention. Firing our weapons without initiating combat protocols. First, we'll leave our ship at a disadvantage in the upcoming fight. Yeah, let's do it. Start with fewer resources. That's fine. But our Starkin people will like us better. Heavy barrage. Boom. Do we do like... Oh, so we don't do like... Combat disadvantage, negative three reactor in power, gain one reaction power each turn until at full power. Ooh. Okay. So we don't get like um like any damage done to it or whatever. Huh. Okay. They're gonna shield pulse here. We only have, we don't have a lot to work with here. Oh, hmm. What if we did do this though? Let's hit that shield. So close. Can't really do much. They're not gonna attack us yet so we can hold. Okay, now they're gonna hit us. Oh, shit, I right clicked by accident and I got rid of our fucking, no. Can I quit? What happens if you quit? Can I cheese it a little bit? Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright, so we're starting off again. Oh, but it's a different uh ooh, and the music stopped. Oh, that sucks. Alright, so I guess we'll wait. We need we need to get some 
We need to get our generator back online. Okay. We're gonna wait another turn. There we go. Okay. So now we're gonna rampart. That'll get us 10. That'll let us mostly survive this. And then we're gonna get rid of that and then in turn. Gonna take the hit. Ugh. Still did 12 damage. That sucks. Alright, now we're in. Now we're talking here. Now we can do stuff. So let's do this. Boom. Boom. Enemy shields down. Boom boom. And then, there we go, no more shields for them. That's good. And they really hurt. That was good, that was good. Um, so this is just an upgrade. I guess that lit. Does it last forever or for like five turns? We'll see. Okay. How long are we? Oh, I'm an idiot. I wasn't. Oh, no. <laughs> Shit. Okay, that's fine. They're gonna hit us again, so we're gonna go ahead and shield up. This should stop most of it. Oof. All of it. Good. Okay. Gain for every two we spend. We're only gonna spend a little bit, so... Let's go ahead and... Gotta, gotta get rid of that shield. There's no point right now because this will do four damage, which is what their shield is. So we won't actually do any damage to there. So we gotta actually end turn here. Okay. Sometimes it's speed. It's like a, a game of patience. You have to kind of just be patient with it. This. Let's do this. Let's see if it works this time. So. We didn't get any shield. That must not be working or something. Or I must be, like, critically misunderstanding what that means. Okay. That's fine. Let's do this. Deal four damage. There we go. And then let's hit this. We're so close. Oh, we got it. Okay, good. Cool. Where's the music? The music needs to come back. Ooh, another paired pulse. I actually really like that torpedo. We're not getting... Oh, you know why we're not getting it? Because nobody's manning it. That's why. Shield amplifier or armament. Generate one extra for every two attack cards you hold at the end of your turn. Ooh. Effect does not expire. Card removed from deck while effect is active. That's actually kind of cool. For every two attack cards we have. Let's get that. That's like a good upgrade, I think. Okay, so next one should be... You sense to pick a massive heat reading up ahead. An elite free roamer gunship is approaching fast. Prepare for combat. So these guys are friendly, but regardless, we still have to fight them. So I guess it's like a chance to... Oh, boy. All right. Interesting. Look at this weird thing. Okay. Let's see, so... Huh. All right. Uh, there we go. I need more reactor power, damn it. So what are we looking at here? They're gonna fortify plus shield and plus one for each fortified card played and a maximum of 12 shield points. Oh, wow. Okay, so that like stacks and makes it better each time. Ion Javelin deals 6 Ion damage. Deal double damage if you are unshielded. Only damages shields. If hull hit, convert damage to Ionize. Ionize enemy. Each 6 Ionize delay one random action player. Each 6 Ionize disable one random resource production. Holy shit. 
Uh, so six ionized. Okay, so we need to actually stop that from happening. So, Rampart. I could. I think I will. We need to turn off this. Absolutely. Okay. Ooh. So they're gonna reload their ion. Okay, so they can't fire it every turn. Okay. Let's use this. That's just an upgrade. And I'm gonna just take the four damage, I guess. Or it's kind of a we're gonna do this because I wanna turn that off, because they're about to get shields here, so. Go ahead and take this hit. Energy recirculation. Lose all shield, gain equal amount of extra damage on your next laser attack. Wow. Okay. And they can do, oh, that's their next one. So they're not gonna be able to do anything now. So. Oops, excuse me. Let's see here. Hmm. We could do shields. This we're not going to be able to use for a long time because it's going to be several turns before we can use that. Actually, honestly, let's do this. Let's see what see what happens. Enemy shields down. Okay. what happens seven shields okay we could do rampart and that'll help us survive that so we're gonna do that and we're gonna hold get some more resources here okay two of each resource let's get that do this pulse damage. Let's hit. Let's hit this. Sh oh shit, that's right. Down. Fuck. Um, completely remove. Ugh, this is rough. Okay, they're gonna do six ion damage. How are we doing on ion? Oh, this is bad. Okay. So, doesn't this mean we have. Save a one random resource production. Oh, I see. Yep, sure did. Okay. They're going to hit us hard, and we can't do enough damage to stop them. So the only thing I can really do is this. And then this, but it doesn't really work. Every two you spend this turn. Uh... Okay, so Ionize disappears. Okay. Okay. Whew. We're not doing too hot, though. Echo Pulse, damage, and turn a laser card, okay, so flare, auto shield, and capacitor, gain four, deplete, ooh, okay. Gain four shield points, then draw a shield card from your draw pile. Ooh. That's okay. 
gain four Ooh, capacitor let's get let's get the auto shield we should probably like update our little shield stuff here magnetic saturation every third rail gun attack deals two extra damage but adds two heat to the player huh we don't have a rail gun though right i don't think we do i don't think we got a rail gun Okay. Uh, we don't have enough for another upgrade. Oh, wait. Ooh, what's this? So if I do this... So does that mean... Oh, you get two back per turn. Okay, so this is for your maximum. But this you can upgrade to increase how much... Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. That's actually good. Okay. We got that. Um, so we got one elite. Space Station Allied. We should probably check that out. Escape pod neutral. Or we could go down here and fight that guy. Which we need. But I don't know if we can survive more hits like that. Oh, we can't. Okay, so I think I'd have to... I'd probably have to go like this or something to get back over there. Oh, deserted fuel station. Enemy combat. Oh, elite combat. Oh. Oh. Okay. I see now. Let's go to the waypoint. Everything seems quiet. Sensor's not picking anything up. Easy enough. Let's go to the space station. AI, free roamer station up ahead, Captain. Prepare to dock procedures. Hey, old Captain, it's rare to see a friendly face around these days. Let's patch up your little ship. <laughs> or your ship a little. Things get pretty rough out there. Wow, for free? What do you wish to do? Enter hangar? Oh, look at this. Sec. Repair all. Okay, so we don't have a lot of money. Can I sell this? Oh, 75 bucks. Hell yeah. We don't need that right now. Okay. And then I can upgrade these or I could repair. Repair two for eight. Repair all for 76. Okay. What about here? Missile lock. Doesn't matter. We can't use missiles. Overlord laser. Overload. Every third laser attack played in the same turn. Ooh. Hmm. Add one security after playing a hack card, triangulator, missile rack, no good. Okay, radiator. Cooling system attachment. Okay. There's the flak. We could add flak. Conduction amplifier. Offensive assurance. Engineering bay. Deal plus one damage. Upkeep. Don't take any hull damage. Okay. Conduction amplifier. Next attack. This turn gets bonus damage equal to its power cost. Ooh. We can get our own ion cannon too. Although I can't afford any of this. So what am I talking about? No, I can't. We could repair. That's essentially all I can do. I can sell this, actually. We don't need this. Now we can afford one of these. Attack Forge Radiator. Dis dissipates up to two heats. Increases dissipation by two. If heat is zero, gain two power. Ooh. Interesting. That actually seems pretty good, too. This seems good, though. I kind of want this. But we could do Ion Cannon. Let's do Ion Cannon. Yeah, because we have this AI that should be able to see these guys have like stats too, but they're not filled out. I wonder if that's something that we're going to be able to do. All right, repair. Let's repair as much as we can afford. There we go. Good enough. Cool. Let's go fight. Let's go fight. Let's go fight.
All right, so we got this. Oh, oh, correct activities. Select an interview you want your crew to perform. Head over to the station bar and unwind. Two more out. Oh, sure. Sec. Have fun, guys. Let's go here. Let's go fight this elite. Deadweight gunship is approaching fast. Deadweight. Let's go. Am I hitting the top here? Oh, I am. Woo! Fly ahead. All right, let's see. I think we can do this. This guy's going to be a bitch. Little bitch guy. So we got ions now, too. Cool. Uh, Flak Barrage. Okay, Starfire. Yep. And Phase. Discard an enemy tactical card. Add a system disruptor. In. Oh. Do we have... Uh, is this a tactical card? I don't know what a tactical card it would be. And we also... We're full on this, so we should probably use... Uh, oh, you can't see it because I'm in the way. Should I maybe move a little bit? My bad. I've been blocking this the whole time. If I move over... There you go. There you go. Much better. Okay, so down here. This is maxed out, so I should probably use them. This is the next attack deals 50 damage, plus 50 shield, resources, etc, etc. Okay. So we actually... We can get eight. So we'll be able to do all three of these, actually. Should we do that? Should we just, like, blow our load? What are we doing here? Three damage. Okay, ion spear deal. Six ion damage on shield break. On shield break, disable target equipment for two turns. Now under shield break, so they have to have shield for it to work. If shielded gain shield points equal to enemy shield points destroyed, okay. Oh, of course this guy doesn't look like he's doing much for shielding. Okay. Well, let's try it. We'll, we'll only know if we try, right? So if I do this, this is going to do a lot of damage. So let's go ahead and get rid of their flak. Nice. If we do this. Enemies ionized. So enemy, each six ionized delay one random action. Okay. Okay, their flak brush was ionized. Okay, cool. So, do another one of these. And so they have two. Oh, nice. So both of these are delayed by one. That's actually really good. Cool. Oh, okay. So maybe green. Green is probably the technological ones. Okay, now they're going to do a lot of damage to me. Really not much there. So... Oh. Well, this, this wouldn't help me in any way, though. Oh, Rampart. Damn. Okay. Let's get rid of Converse. Con get rid of that one. Let's keep moving. Oof. Okay. We're going to get hit by that, unfortunately. Although, now I can use her. Get this Rampart. You are now shielded. Shield up. For every two attack cards you hard at the end of your turn. Use this. So I can dismiss it, but it goes back into my draw pile. Interesting. Next turn, enemy shield cards add negative two shield, negative one extra shield point every two shield. Okay, lose all security. Wow. Okay. So I could do an upgrade or I could do attacks. I think I'll, I should do attack. I could do one attack because these require the green or I could do this. that and then 
one extra for every two attack cards. So if I actually end my turn right now, I should get like a shitload of attack on the next turn. Like, yeah, a lot. Okay, cool. So now, enemy shields cost plus two. Damn. Okay, man, this is brutal. Okay. Okay. Deal four damage. Ion. Can't do ion. Yeah, I either got to do sling or I do paired pulse. What do I want to do? If I do... If we do this, it'll actually pause one other thing. So maybe I will do this. Boom. Okay, good. Their volley is down by one. And then I can do laser on this. Disable that. And then I can still do this. Interesting. Okay. And if I do this, it's six damage. I should probably, like, try to get rid of that crap. Oh, wow. Am I... Oh, right, because every time I spend two, I get... I see. So, no, you don't get one shield. You get one energy. I've been reading that wrong this whole time. I'm an idiot. Okay. So, if I do this... Actually, if I do this... That'll disable his volley for two turns. And then that's it. Okay, good. Actually, that worked out pretty good. They'll do regression still. Shield cards cost plus two. Damn, this sucks. However... No, I can't. Hmm. I'm actually probably better off. Well... I could do this, and then that'll add... Yeah. Good. Jesus. Okay. They got rid of my barrier. Okay. Okay. This is hurting. can't really do much because they keep fucking depleting my uh, energy. What if I do... Alright, I need to just start destroying stuff. There we go. I just need to do damage. I just had to do something. I could remove one from here and add it there just for now. And then if I do more... Six more... There we go. That'll remove their dissipate down one. And then that's all I can do. Damn, they're about to hit me hard though. Fuck. I'm paying attention. They've been getting rid of all my shields. This has actually been very... Five damage, four damage, four... Wow. Okay, I just need to play that to remove it. Or... I could do this. Disable their reload tubes. Then do precision attack on that. I'm about to get hit hard though. Oh. Yeah, this is bad. We're in a bad way right now. They're reloading completely right now. So maybe now is a good time to... Let's get rid of this, and then that's all I can do. All right, things are about to get bad again. Right, let's see, can we disable the flank? Okay. Then we can pulse this. can't auto shield though. Oh fuck. See I sh what I should have done. Oh damn. Oh no. Wait. Okay. 
Hold on, if I do this... Oh, damn it. It doesn't like... It's not retroactive. Well, I guess that's the end of the run. What happens when we die? Oh, right. I have a turn. I don't know if it's going to be enough, though. Six. Okay, I can't do both. But where... Oh, fuck. But I wasted my... Conserva... God damn it. Okay. Six shield points. So this is going to do eight, and then that's going to do eight. So I'm dead anyways. Well, if I do this, I'll be able to survive one of them. But I will not be able to do enough damage to stop. did it. <laughs> wow. Ion Spear. Fusion material. Gain two and two if active disable production. Oh. Yeah, that seems interesting. Overlord. Every third laser. Oh, yes. We want that. Okay. We barely made it out of that. I don't, we're not going to be able to like survive anything else, though. By the time the crew is finished gathering any useful salvage, combat log transfer is complete. Thank you for your service. As per arrangement, the funds have been transferred until we meet again. Judging by the time between the data transmission and income message, data broker ship should be within scanner range, but our sensors are not picking anything up. Okay, cool. Now we got a shitload of money. So I wonder... Where are we? Oh, we're right here. So can we just go back to the station? Dock of the station. Oh, and they just freely repair. Okay. Okay. Actually, run saved? <laughs> okay. We should do a full repair, even though it's going to cost us a shitload. Just do a full repair. Rating. Oh, beam laser. Pulse laser. Beam laser. What's the difference? Oh, these are the ignite ones, right? Okay, so the ones we have right now are like, they stack kind of. Pulse laser Mark II? I'm assuming Mark ours is better because, yeah, because it's got two slots as opposed to this one. Okay. Okay, actually, let's put that there. We're going to hold on to that. We're not going to sell that. Heat radiation. Every 12 ionized points also disables one random piece of enemy equipment for one turn. Ionized attacks cost more. Okay. Okay. Let's just repair all. Well, we'll hold off on any sort of... Uh, okay, wow. Run saved, uh, I guess. All right. Um, I think we're good. Yeah. Thank you. All right, so now we can continue on. So let's see, what do you wish to do? Uh, depart the station. So conflict zone, conflict, conflict, visited ally, space station, neutral. Um, I guess we'll do the conflict zone with the Solari. This also gives me, like, FTL vibes, for sure. It's like a nice mix between, like, FTL and, um... What the fuck was that name? I already forgot it. Like an idiot. Oh, Griftlands, yeah. Which is awesome. That's a cool combo. Like, Barrage, Starflare, and Shield Pulse. Oh. So they're doing 2 to 5. They're doing 2 to 5 right now with Shredding. So if we do this, we should stop the shredding. If we do this, we won't be able to afford that. Let's, let's just do this upgrade, because that's an upgrade, and then we'll end turn, we'll take the hit. It shouldn't hurt us though, yeah. Okay, so now they're adding shields, which is good, because then that means we could try to use this. So, 
deal eight ion damage if she'll gain shield points equal. So let's give that a try, right? They have four. We have two right now. Yep, we have six, and their shields are out. Sick. And they have four ionized. Now, I still want to hold off. Uh, I guess I could do this. It'll get us to eight. They're doing covering fire. We probably want to actually try to stop this as much as possible. There we go. We have six, so we should stop this from hitting us. And then they got this coming out. And another shield pulse, okay. So we have two shields. We've got six damage coming in here. We have up to six here, okay. Back to disable production. Okay. Oh shit, I always forget to add this one point. I don't know why I need to... I don't know why I need to add it. I shouldn't have to. Um, three damage, two times. So if I do that, that'll actually turn this off. Oh no, shit. Fuck the shields. Forgot about their shields. Let's put on this... Let's gain some shield and let's end this turn. I also have all this morale I need to use. I might as well since it's maxed out anyway, right? Um, so let's get some more points here. And Ion Spear. Shield Break Disable. Target Equipment. They don't have shields right now, though. Damn. Gain four. Do four damage for precision or auto shield. Yeah, auto shield seems good, but we really need to... Oh shit, that was the wrong one. I should have done boomerang. Fuck. Oh well. Take the hit. Incoming missile. Take the missile. Catalyst pulse. Laser pulse. I can do both. Alright, that's off. Now we can do this. And then that's it. Take the hit. They have four shields. So let's hit them with this. Get rid of their shields. And then we should have... Oh, we're supposed to get shields. This is just an upgrade. Let's get that. Let's end turn. Every two, so if I do this, and then I do this, boom, boom, that should have given us three, and then that gives me an auto shield. Okay. Fusion material, let's do that. We can only do one of these. Disable equipment on shield break, but they don't have shields. There we go. That'll at least stop their uh, solar flare for a little bit. Ugh. <clears throat> okay. Now, we can do this but we won't be able to shield. I kind of want to shield. This will disable the equipment, though, if we destroy their shield. We could disable their solar flare. But then we won't be able to do any sort of barrier. have four shields it's not even worth spending we're better off just holding on okay i 
could add two more, do a ramper. That'll give us 10. <clears throat> so that should help out a lot right there. And then this will hold off for now. I'm not really getting... Pulse and laser pulse. Let's do. We need to turn this shit off. Enemy shield down. There we go. I'm gonna take a hit here. We're taking damage. All right. Card. What do we got here? Echo Pulse or Ion Spear? Let's get Echo Pulse. Continue. What I really need to do is upgrade my shield production. So, like, let's get more energy per turn, I think would be good. There we go. That's why I was doing that, because I didn't have that selected there. Okay. So let's do this. Plus one capacity. Oh, that's not what I wanted then. Fuck. Oh, well, too late now. All right, so that's capacity, like, max that you can put in there. Okay. All right. Where are we at? We're right here. I guess we should just keep moving forward. Why is that? Oh, we're out of fuel. Uh-oh. How do we get fuel? We're approaching the Starkin Space Station. Our waiting orders Dock Station. We need... How do we get fuel? Is there no way to get, like, fuel? At a space station? Huh. So, uh, <laughs> excuse me, so what happens if we don't have fuel? Oh, okay, so we have to, like, maintain on... Okay, so the fuel's for jumping between these kind of things. But I think on these, we're actually okay. So let's go to the conflict zone. Okay, that makes sense. A cockpit suddenly engulfed in a harsh red light. The ship's combat alarm systems were appears to be a free roamer allied ship passed by. Was suddenly revealed to be a dead weight using a transponder to mass symbol. We're under attack. Disadvantage, you shuffle attack cards on your starting hand. Ooh. All right. Wow. Rough. Alright. So that'll get us 10. Oh, I didn't even need to do that. Shit. That's fine. Alright, now they're about to hit us. So let's go ahead and get rid of this now. Let's generate for every... Okay. Relentless. Okay. Barrier. I'm about to get hit hard. Oh, that's two. That's gonna take two turns to get to me. I have ten shields right now, so actually, I should probably do an upgrade. Okay, we're actually fine. They're about to phase us. Okay. Let's 
so we gotta start turning this off. Okay, and then six... No. No, we're actually good. We're not gonna get hit by anything right now, so we might as well just keep going. Okay. Echo Pulse. Return a laser card from this card project. Yeah, cannot return itself. Okay, here we go. So if we do this... That'll get us a laser pulse. Boom. That'll turn off that crap. They don't have any shields, so that's not going to do much. Let's get rid of this thing now. And we're going to get hit pretty hard here. Yikes. That's bad. <laughs> um, another torpedo coming our way. Let's turn off the... See if we can turn this thing off. Oh, it hit the laser pulse instead. Damn. That's alright. I should get rid of this armament, because I'm not going to be able to use this. Well, I guess next turn I will be able to now, but that's alright. Four damage. It's not going to be enough, unless I do this hit that. That'll at least turn that off. And that's pretty much all I can do right now anyways. If I reduce this a little and put some more in there, I should at least help. There we go. Now we're about to get hit hard, so let's do a rampart. Shield up, Captain. Yep. And then do precision attack on that thing. Good. Now we're talking. Got it. What do you got for me? Oh, okay, so these are full, so I need to, like, start throwing things away, I think. Okay, so, yeah, all these are full except for our ion cannons. Interesting. So I wonder, can I sell cards? How does that work? Maybe. Space station neutral, okay. Neutral space station. Dock. Crew activities. Sure. Enter. It's a lot to repair. Okay, so they're only selling this kind of stuff. So then if I go in here, can I sell? Oh, wait, it costs 50 to remove it. So I can't sell it. I have to pay to remove it. Okay, that's pretty standard for card games. All right, let's just repair as much as we can and get the fuck out of here. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. That's all right. Let's keep moving, I guess. Uh, depart station. Boss. Ooh, this will be fun. Oh, wait, what was I? Hmm. I don't have any fuel. Uh, Marauder ship detect unlocked. Ooh, Marauder ship unlocked. Headed for the sector exit. Your sensors pick up a massive vessel inbound for attack vector. Solari officer, this sector is locked down. Any ships attempting to leave are marked for termination. Buckle up, looks like we have to fight our way out. All right, let's do this. Boss time. I don't know if we're ready for this, but fuck it. Too late now. Wow, look at this guy. Holy shit. Look at this thing. Oh, <laughs> that's a sick ship. Uh huh. Okay, this is going to go really well. So they're doing flak, they're doing flak, missiles, shields, and more flak. Oh my god. Alright. Um.
Might as well. Alright, what are we looking at here? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So we gotta do pulse. So should we... We should probably get rid of this flak. to see it. They're not shielded. So I guess I'm going to hold off. Get some more resources. We're gonna get hit by that missile. Get that upgrade. Oh, they are shielded, okay. Oh, but we're not gonna be able to break that shield unless we do this. Um, shield amplifier. And then we do this. That'll shield break it. And that disables it. Good, good, good. Okay. Fuck. Okay. So for every one of those we're going to spend. We're going to spend a lot of these. So let's just go ahead and do that so we can load up on... Okay. What do we need to stop here? We need to stop... This flak barrage again. Spend this. S oh shit, wrong thing. Oops, that's fine. And then do. I guess we might as well turn this off since we're already there. There we go. Oof. 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 This is bad. This is very bad. We got no shields either. That sucks. We are screwed. Okay. I'm only going to be able to do one. I could hold off and get the, um, this so we get two extra power. Let's just hold off. So we'll get five next turn. All right. Now I have to do something because. We have to stop this. No. Paired pulse. That'll turn that off. Good. That's all I can do. Oh, I didn't see that. Son of a bitch. Well. <laughs> ah, damn it. Defeat. Thanks for playing the Breachway demo. Wish us today. Early access on March 26th. Oh, that's coming up soon. It's only a taste of what the full game will become. We're working hard on getting everything ready. What well, you can expect new ships to discover and unlock, each with their own play styles, new equipment, subsystems, weapons, specializing in a ship with unique cards and synergies, more regions with their own unique environments, events, enemies, and epic boss battles, new crew members, each with their own abilities and roles, more environments, fighting asteroid fields, okay, more side missions, smuggling, bounty hunting, okay, cool, and much, much more. Cool, yeah, there you go. There it is, folks. That's Breachway. That's the Steam Next Fest demo for that. Really like it. That's good. That's fun. That's a good combination of several games that I really like. Um, and it's smart. I hope there's just... It feels like maybe the um, the UI could use like minor improvements just for readability. Like easier readability a little bit. And obviously some performance updates. Like it's strange that this game is like hitching as much as it is. But you know, it's, you know, it's a demo. It's really... So it is what it is, but um, yeah, this is cool. I'm looking forward to this, actually. Uh, I hope you are, too. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching, at least. 
um, as well with you. And uh, stay sexy, stay beautiful. And next, until next time, um, don't f like keep track of your goddamn fuel because if you don't, you're gonna screw yourself over. See you later. Bye.